Hello guys, this is Bobby Michael. Welcome to my space. Today we are going to learn how to use ChatGPT in UI UX design. So when you log on to openai.com, you can click on chat and then you come to this. It will take you to somewhere like this. So in this box, you can easily impute anything you want. You can, input, you can easily um, ask any question you like and then expect an answer from ChatGPT. So once again, it is chat.openai.com Firstly, you have to open an account with them. Once you open your account, you can open an account through your Gmail or you can um, go through their sign-up process. But when you come on to this, you can just easily go to chat and then take it to this place. So once you are here, you can, um, um, you can ask any question you like. So to, um, the first thing we are going to be using ChatGPT for is we are going to be using it as a Lorem Soup replacement. This is a content that you use for um, your designs. So I know some of you, if you are designers, you will be familiar with this because you use it as a um, replacement instead of writing gibberish, you use this. So we are going to use chat GPT to generate content instead of this. Now it can be done in two ways. You can either use this to um, you can either turn this to actual content or you um, turn actual content to something like this. So let's come on to chat GPT. Because you write copy for paper main page. Write copy for the main page. So it's going to generate something for you. So welcome to our band. We believe in providing something. So yeah. So instead of writing, instead of writing something like this, you can easily copy this and paste it. Now, if you feel like ah, this thing that um, ChatGPT is writing is too long, it's too long, it's too long. This is what you are going to do. Once it's finished generating, you will see this regenerate response. So you can just say, make it. two lines yeah this is two lines though it's showing three here but if you copy this and you paste it in your work it's going to be two lines so this is um this is because when you read from this to here this is where you have full stop and then this is another full stop so it's reading is counting according to your full stops so this is the first way to use chat GPT. Another way you can use chat GPT is you can use it to create a user flow sample. You can use it to create a user flow sample. Let's go back to this my project. This is a uh, this is a an intern um, where I'm product. So I'm trying to develop an intern product to say they will come, they will be able to come here and get a an, an internship. So let's say create a user flow for an intent website. So it's going to create it for me. Once it's not done, you see stop generating. But once it's done, you see regenerate so that means you can click on regenerate to say i don't like this idea give me another idea So you can see from here it's giving you from the home page say browse internships internship details application process submission confirmation user dashboard notification center this is just practically um what you need um 
primarily to uh, build a user flow. So with this, you can create a perfect user flow. Now, once you get to each of these pages, you can come again here to ask to say, okay, list uh, the features that are going to be in the home page. These features are going to be in the presentation page. Now, ChatGPT understands your question flow. So if you are asking a particular question from the beginning and you refer to that question that you've asked before, it's going to understand what you're talking about because you've asked a similar and uh, you've asked a question on that topic before. So you can use um, ChatGPT to enhance user research. You can just say, um, many of you do user research and survey. So you can just say, create a user research of so so or you list your survey questions and then to auto generate answers for you. Now, another thing you can use ChatGPT for is to test your prototype. You can use ChatGPT to test your prototype. You can say, <coughs> say create a test or user scenario to test my prototype of a grocery, grocery delivery app. So it's going to bring out a test case. So this is your test scenario. So this is how to use ChatGPT to test your prototype, to test your um, to to generate your case study, your scenario, and your test prototypes. <laughs> so you can quickly wait, wait for this to. Uh, yeah, once you so choose regenerate response, that means that's generated. So. Another thing you can use user um, chat GPT for is to generate idea for a page layout. Remember, I told you the other time when we did uh, when we generate um, ideas for the user flow. So I say you can um, you can in each of the page you can generate um, you can generate you can go back there and ask questions to generate. Um, layouts or components that are going to be in each of the pages. So this lastly, we are going to do something like that. We are going to say, um, ChatGPT can um, get ideas for a page layout. So it can generate ideas for you for a page layout. So let's just search something like that. We are going to say, any idea for the main page layout for B2B or B2C marketplace. Let's say any so here is a sample, it's going to create something for you. <laughs> so this is, it's going to practically tell you everything that should be in that particular page. Starting from the header, the hero section, the featured products, top categories, white choosers, footer, and it's going to like, it's going to give you almost everything you want. See. It says this layout provides a balance of eye-catching visuals and concise messages. Make it easy for users to quickly understand. It's still giving you ideas that you can use to make your um, work go well. So um, you can also use ChatGPT for to generate any idea. You can you can you can use ChatGPT to generate any idea. So you can be like, um, I want to. I want to improve my Instagram app. How can I, how can I do that? So what ChatGPT is doing is it's being your friend, it's being your colleague, it's being your mentor, and the rest. So you can ask him anything you want. Let's say, how do I, how do I grow my YouTube channel? How do I grow? Or since we are yeah, talking about UI design, let's say. How can I improve UX of a banking website? So this is to improve the UX of a banking website. Like the response are going to be generated in a blink so it's still generating you 
can easily click on stop generating if you don't want something like this if you click on stop generating it's going to stop so lastly we are going to i want to let you know that you can use um chat gpt to generate any idea at all so you can come there and say any bold ux idea for a music app so it's going to give you okay for example i'm trying to develop a, an internship website so i can just go here and say any idea to develop an intern website so let's just say something like that any idea okay let's just say any bold idea any bold idea the ideas for and for an intern websites So it's going to generate look look at ideas there are ideas for me there are ideas for me so instead of meeting my mentors to discuss idea to build on the product i can easily come to chat gpt and discuss with chat gpt and then generate and build my ideas so this is the very these are the various ways that you can use chat gpt to improve your designs improve your you can use it to create user personnels you can use it to create practically anything that has to do with special ideas and the rest thank you for staying with me this is bobby michael and have a wonderful day